Mr. Small finds a job. Mr. Small is the smallest person in Mr. Land. Being so small, he doesn't eat very much. Can you guess what he has for breakfast? A cornflake. One cornflake, that's all. Oh, that was quite thrilling. I shouldn't have eaten a whole cornflake. Because he's so small, quite often people don't know he's there. Hello there. Hey. Can you tell me the time, please? Huh? Heard any football scores? Where can I catch a number 14 bus? Oh. Poor Mr. Small. Still, he can always count on an interesting conversation with his good friend Walter. He too looks forward to their chats. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Small. What a pleasant surprise. Think it will rain? Oh, no, I think it'll stay sunny all day. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I must be going. <laughs> I wish everyone else in Mr. Land was as friendly as Walter. Maybe if I had a job, they'd take more notice of me. I'm reading the job advertisements. Oh, here's one with Mrs. Crubb, the baker. Do you think you could lift one of these flower sacks? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Mr. Small. I'm sure you'd be a hard worker, but you're too small. Day after day, Mr. Small read the papers and looked everywhere for news of a job. Oh! Could this be his lucky day? Yes! This is the job for me. Mr. Chips, I've come about your newspaper advertisement for a carpenter's helper. Well, no offence, but you are, um, uh... Yes? Well, uh, small. Yes, that's it, small. Still, I'm not one to make hasty decisions. I'll think about it. Oh. I thought about it. No, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm worried. What's happened to Walter? I haven't seen him for days. Haven't you heard? He's in bed with an awful headache. Mm -hmm. Dr. Makewell has given us a headache pill, but we can't reach him. Very sad, isn't it, Miss Splendid? I could never be a personal friend of anyone as common as an earthworm. Huh? Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for the poor little chap. If only someone could get that pill to him. I can do it. I can do it. I've oh. got an idea. I'll get Mr. Tickle oh. and meet you at Walter's place. They didn't hear me. Didn't even know I'm here. This shouldn't take long. Here's the pill, Mr. Tickle. Just reach down and give it to Walter. My arm! It's stuck! I can't move! You don't panic. Could you help me, Mr. Strong? <laughs> I was sure Mr. Tickle could reach him. What we need is someone who is exceedingly small to go down that wormhole. But it could be dangerous. I'll go, Mr. Clever. Mm. You're a brave fellow, Mr. Small. Good luck. Walter, Walter, <gasps> where are you? Here, are, Mr. Small, here I am. And here I am, with Dr. Makewell's headache pill. Oh, I'm worried. Oh. Mr. Small has been down there a long time. Do you think they're all right? Huh? I'm fine, Mr. Worry. And as for Walter... <sighs> I never felt better, thanks to Mr. Small. <laughs>
Happy birthday, little Miss Scatterbrain. At Buttercup Cottage, little Miss Scatterbrain was just waking up. Oh, what a lovely morning. Time to get up, I think. That's the alarm set. What next? I know, I'll clean my teeth. And so she did, with soap. <laughs> Silly me. At last, little Miss Scatterbrain was ready for the day. So she looked at her calendar to see what was happening. Ooh, tomorrow's my birthday. I know, I'll have a party and invite all my friends. Let's see, what shall I buy? I know, lots of food and a cake. A really big cake. Good morning, Mr. Forgetful. Uh, where are you off to, Miss, um, whatever your name is? Oh, let's see now. Where was I going? Uh, the town, perhaps? That's it. The town to buy a cake. It's my birthday tomorrow and I'm having a party. Would you like to come? Oh, yes, thank you. Please. Oh, hmm. I know. Why don't you invite everyone while I do my shopping? Oh, I'd love to, Miss, uh, um, uh, so off he went to invite as many friends as he could. A party at my house tomorrow, don't forget. And little Miss Scatterbrain went off to do the shopping. First, she went to the butcher's. Morning, Mr Bacon. Six bottles of lemonade, please. Lemonade, Miss Scatterbrain? <laughs> I only sell meat here. Do you? So you do. <laughs> Silly me, goodbye. And then she went to the hairdressers. Morning, Mrs. Snippet. One huge birthday cake, please. Birthday cake, Miss Scatterbrain? <laughs> Dearie me, we only do hair here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Forgetful was busily inviting everyone to the party. Morning, Mr. Uh, uh, Bacon. Oh, no, not today, thank you, no, no. Now, what did I come in for? Oh, yes, <laughs> it's my birthday t tomorrow, and I'm having a, a party. Yes, a party. Would you like to come? Oh, yes, please, Mr Forgetful. Hello, Mr Forgetful. Oh, uh, Mr um, Sunshine, yes, uh, Sunshine. I'm, I'm having a, a party tomorrow. Will you uh, come? Of course. Goodbye. Hello, Mr. Forgetful. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I can't uh, remember. G goodbye, Miss... Um, um, um... Scatterbrain. Yes, I know I am. Yes, uh, silly me. Back again, Miss Scatterbrain. What is it this time? Sausages. I've remembered what it was. I need some sausages, please, for a party tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Forgetful, is it? It's his birthday, he says, and he's having a party. Is he? How exciting! I must get a present at once. The next day, Mr Forgetful was sitting at home trying to remember something he was sure he'd forgotten. Was it something to do with Miss Sunshine or uh, uh, Christmas? And while he tried as hard as he could to think what it was... Happy birthday, Mr Forgetful. Miss Scatterbrain? You remembered. Come in. Uh, because I think, uh, yes, I'm having a party. <laughs> a party? That's lucky, because I bought a huge cake yesterday and I've completely forgotten why. And when they'd all sung Happy Birthday, Mr Forgetful blew out the candle. Happy Birthday, Mr Forgetful! Don't you, Mr Forgetful? <laughs> Happy Birthday, Mr Forgetful. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> yes, very much. I can't wait for it to be mine.
Mr. Jelly goes time traveling. Mr. Jelly is afraid of everything. Absolutely, positively everything. Oh! Do you know he's even afraid of his own shadow? Ooh. Oh no! It's a monster! The only time Mr. Jelly really feels safe is when he's hiding under his blanket. Even a knock on his front door can terrify him. Oh, no! There's a gang of robbers trying to get in! Go away! I don't have any money! Besides, there's no one home! Come on, Mr. Jelly! Open the door! It's me, the wizard! <coughs> really? I've never met anyone who is so afraid of so many things as you are. I can't help it, wizard! These are dangerous times! Nonsense! These are not dangerous times. No, no, no. Imagine what life was like when dinosaurs roamed uh, the Earth. Couldn't be any scarier than life in Mr. Land today. You don't think so, eh? Let's take oh. a little trip. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Silly. <laughs> Shouldn't the horse be pulling the cart? <laughs> the horse? <laughs> pulling the cart? The horse pulling the cart? <laughs> oh, Mr. Jelly certainly has some silly ideas. Mr. Jelly was pleased to see good friends from Mr. Land. There was Miss Splendid and her pet dinosaur. Now drink up all your milk like a good little dinosaur and Mummy will take you for a walk. And Miss Bossy. Hold still! How can I hang out my washing with you two jiggling about? Morning, Mr. Tickle. Oh dear, oh dear. What an extraordinary creature. A musical dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, he sounds great. I've just had him retuned. Shame, though, he's so big I can't get him into my cave. <laughs> you see, I like a little music before bedtime. I may trade him in for a mouth organ. Well, Mr. Jelly saw nothing to be afraid of so mm. far. This was a very pleasant place. Oh. Ah! Oh, no, no. oh, no! What on earth was that? You want to be careful walking along this path, Mr. Jelly. Some dinosaurs who don't see as well as I do could step on you. Oh, oh, that would be awful. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I'll give you another warning. Watch out for an even bigger dinosaur with long pointed teeth and wearing a serviette. Mm. He'll eat anything in sight. With tomato ketchup, of course. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. You're a Mr. Man, aren't you? Oh, no, no. I mean, yes. Who are you? Me? I'm just a friendly, gentle forest creature. Oh, no. He's got long, pointed teeth, and he's wearing a serviette. There's something I can do for you. Well, yes. You wouldn't have a bottle of the ketchup, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Really scared. Whatever you are, please try on time. Things like cuckoo clocks and shadows will never frighten me again. Don't worry. It's only a mechanical bird. I'm not afraid of that. Are you?
A big surprise for Mr. Mean. It was the night before Christmas, and Mr. Worry was very worried. I'm so worried. I'm so very, very worried. He wasn't worried about how cold it was. It was far more serious than that. Come in, Mr. Worry. How are you feeling, Miss Sunshine? A bit cold. And a bit shivery, I'm afraid. <coughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Worry. But you're not to open it until tomorrow. Uh, for me? Oh, oh th thank you. I can't leave her alone like this. Not on Christmas Eve. Then he had an idea. Next door to Miss Sunshine lived Mr. Mean. Merry Christmas, Mr. Mean. What do you want? Mr. Worry explained all about Miss Sunshine being ill and how she needed someone to look after her. How much will you pay me? Well, I thought you would do it to be kind. Kind? <laughs> Mr. Mean, Mr. Mean, at least say you will think about it. All right, all right, I'll think about it. Now, go away. And as Mr. Worry set off home, the snow began to fall. Later that evening, Mr. Mean could hear Miss Sunshine next door. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not going over there. Far too cold. So he went to bed and went to sleep and had a dream. Mr. Mean, wake up, Mr. Mean. There's something I want to show you. <coughs> oh. oh, that's Miss Sunshine. I knew there was nothing the matter with her. You silly old meanie. This is last year. Come on, let's go inside and see what a good Christmas she had. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Splendid hat, Miss Splendid. Thank you, Mr. Bomb. Shut up. Listen to me. All together now. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank you all very much. Time we were off. Come on. We're back outside again. Where's everyone gone? This is tomorrow. This is what Miss Sunshine's Christmas will be like if no one comes to see her. <laughs> Well, this is terrible. Someone should be looking after her. Oh, what a terrible dream I've had. Oh, poor little Miss Sunshine. The following morning, Mr. Werry opened his present from Miss Sunshine. <laughs> a telephone. <laughs> well, if I ever get worried, I, I can ring someone up. Hello, Miss Sunshine. How are you feeling? Much better. Mr. Mean and I are having a lovely time. And Miss Sunshine told him all about how Mr. Mean was taking care of her. About how he'd brought his Christmas lunch to share with her. About how he'd brought her a cracker and they were sharing the hat. After you. No, after you. And about how Mr. Mean had even brought her her present. An extra piece of coal. And as Miss Sunshine hadn't got a present for Mr. Mean, and as it was Christmas, she taught him to dance. <laughs>